Academy and the things you've done before, um, how has that prepared you? And do you feel like it's enough to prepare someone to approach Cisco DevNet and start using the APIs and everything? Yes, definitely. Um, with um, Code Academy and a couple of courses on Udemy, when you do for time, you do it like two times. Like I went through the Code Academy course like two times. Really? Okay, that's cool. Yeah, because yeah, it's 25 hours. So with my study habit, if I do five hours, I can finish it in five days. I mean, two days if you, if it's <laughs> if you have a cup of coffee. <laughs> <laughs> and then I come back to it and I and I try to do it again. And I mean, when you get into Cisco DevNet, you can definitely catch up with whatever they're doing there. Okay, cool. So I, that's good to hear because I know a lot of people are trying to figure out how to approach Cisco DevNet. I know there's some there's some beginner courses you can take. Yeah, but Cisco um, DevNet really starts you from the basic too. They, they mm -hmm. like teach you the basics of Python and stuff like that. But the the, the thing is that they don't get into like object oriented programming and stuff like that. Yeah, and that's I, I've gone through a few DevNet things, and that's kind of what I felt like was missing. Like I, yeah. I, I I'm learning a little bit of Python, but I'm like I don't really know how to use it. Yeah, and I wanted to know how to use it, so. Yeah, that's um, where the network engineers, we, uh, that's where we have these gaps as network engineer because we just jump into Python. Like I, I, I had made a post on, link, uh, on LinkedIn um, talking about the same thing because when I started, I, I took David Bombo's course and that mm -hmm. was, I, I could um, send commands to the switches and routers and I felt I was okay until I went for the Google interview. <laughs> <laughs> and then and then I feel that and then I had to come back to the basics I had to read the the tutorial from actually python.org because they have a really good tutorial there I had to read like the people who develop python what they were thinking how how they wanted people to actually use this language so I had wow. to start there reading everything that they have there and the language references and stuff like that to really get understand what the the vast um, use for Python. So after that, I came back to network automation and it's making a lot of sense now. So now I know when to put something as a function and I call it whenever I want it or when to introduce classes into, into my program or stuff like that. But before mm. then, it was, it was just a one-way road. I just come in and it's net me all the way.